there are a lot of traditions grew up over the years in, in America's manned spaceflight program. Hundreds, if not thousands, of traditions that that uh, go go down to a system level. Maybe a particular electrical system had a tradition within their within their small group, all the way up to tr traditions on launch day of eating beans and cornbread after launch in the in the lobby of the launch control center. One of the traditions at the Kennedy Space Center that goes way back to the Mercury program was for um, key members of the launch team and, and KSC management, Kennedy Space Center management, to have dinner with the astronaut or the astronauts who were about to fly into space. And the intent is to get a familiarity between the astronauts and, and those people that are going to be responsible for their safety. It worked wonderfully. Um, the way we did it in the shuttle program was that uh, during their training week at, at Kennedy Space Center, the astronauts would come over from Houston. We would host them for a dinner out at the beach house. Now, the beach house is, is the only house left on the, on the coast, right on the ocean, um, on the on Space Center property. We would provide the dinner and the astronauts would provide the wine and beer. And that's just the way it was. The dinner was the same every time. So the meal was always smoked sausage, beef brisket, barbecued chicken, coleslaw, uh, potato salad, a tossed salad, bread and butter, a big bowl of jalapeno pepper sliced up, and a big old fudge brownie for dessert. The one special memory I have is STS-107 crew, final Columbia crew. And um, I don't know why, but Elon Ramon and I struck up a conversation as we were just standing around getting to know each other before dinner. And uh, we just hit it off. We just hit it off great. I don't know why. You know, some, sometimes people click, and, and Elon and I just clicked. So we went and got our plate of food, and we sat down together, and, and we ate dinner together. And, and about uh, two-thirds of the way through dinner, I looked over at his plate, and, and he was just kind of picking, picking at the food, and, and especially the sausage. He didn't, wasn't eating the sausage. And I looked over at him, and I said, don't you feel good tonight? He said, no, 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 I feel fine. I said, well, you don't like the food so much? He said... He said, no, no, it's very good. It's not kosher, but it's very good. <laughs> and we just laughed and laughed and laughed. It was just one of those moments. It just, just very, very special. That was the last time I really enjoyed Elon's company. Was he, was, he was lost on re-entry. I'm Mike Leinbach, and that's just one of my untold stories from the rocket range.